untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard game video. Today we're taking a look at a blue-black proliferate deck built around a Ledger Shredder and a Voidwing Hybrid. Ledger Shredder 2 mana 1-3 flyer, saying whenever a player casts their second spell each turn, it gets to connive, so we can draw and discard. If we discard a non-land card, we can put a plus one plus one counter on Ledger Shredder. And then there's a Voidwing Hybrid, the 2 mana 2 1 flyer with Toxic 1, that when we proliferate we can return from our graveyard to our hand. So in this deck we're actively seeking to discard our Voidwing Hybrid, either to Liliana's plus ability, maybe to our Celestis, or to the Connive from Ledger Shredder, so we also pick up a plus 1 counter, since we have a ton of ways to proliferate to get back our Hybrid from the graveyard, and potentially also add additional plus 1 counters to Shredder, or additional loyalty counters to Liliana, so there's a ton of synergy there. And our proliferate cards include 4 copies of Whisper at 1 mana, an instant giving minus 1 minus 1 on ton of turn, and we get to proliferate, so perfect at taking out some of the smaller creatures from mono rats or blue white soldiers, and in a pinch you can also target your own creatures if you really just want to proliferate. And then at 2 mana there's a full set of a Drown and Icker, giving minus 4 minus 4 at sorcery speed. And then our last proliferate card is a Vraska, which can be played for 5 mana and 2 life, or 6 mana. And then we can draw a card and proliferate at the cost of 1 life using the 0 ability, which is more of a plus 1, since we can also add a loyalty to Vraska and our various planeswalkers. And then a minus 2 can also be used as removal, turning a creature into a treasure. And the minus 9 ultimate can also come up if we proliferate enough, and that's a way to poison the opponent to death, maybe after attacking with a hybrid to deal the 10th point of poison damage, or we can potentially just proliferate with another card to get up to 10 poison. So that's also a ton of fun if we can pull it off. And then the rest of our deck includes more cheap spot removals, since we want to be able to potentially play a Shredder on turn 3 alongside a 1-mana removal spell to immediately trigger Connive and get the ball rolling, maybe get it out of range from a Lightning Strike by getting a plus 1 counter. So the full set of Cutdown shines against Mono Reds and Blue White Soldiers and most of the creature aggro decks in the format. Then we also have two discard spells, which can also be nice alongside Ledger Shredder, can check out if the coast is clear, maybe take away a removal spell, and can also cast it for 3 mana thanks to its cleave cost. Then at 2 mana we also have 3 copies of a Reckoner Bankbuster, also has great synergy with Proliferate, as we can add extra charge counters to it, so we can keep drawing more cards. And then we can potentially crew a Bankbuster on turn 3 using a Graveyard Trespasser, which gives us a bit of life gain and Graveyard Hate, will cost the opponent a card if they want to target it with a removal spell. And then as we mentioned, Liliana is also great alongside Voidwing Hybrid, since we don't mind discarding it to the plus 1, and then a minus 2 another removal effect, making the opponent sack a creature. And then the Celestis also has great synergy with our Trespasser, gives us another way to draw and discard, maybe a ramp into a Vraska, or into a Gixxus Command. The 5 mana Sorcery is our sweeper of choice, as it can destroy each creature with power 2 or less, can also put 2 plus 1 counters on a creature and give it lifelink until end of turn, so that's a way to maybe grow our Shredder so it doesn't die to the second ability. And then we can also make the opponent sacrifice a creature with the highest power among creatures they control, or potentially get back two creatures from our graveyard, which can get back our Trespasser and Shredder, since we'll usually be able to get back Hybrid in other ways. And then our mana base also includes two copies of Blast Zone, which also has great synergy with Proliferate, as it can speed up the process of adding counters to it, so we can potentially blow up a certain permanent, gives us an answer to enchantments, which Blue Black otherwise struggles with. And then the Channel Lands, Soaring City, and Abandoned Mire can also come in handy. And then multiple blue black dual lands, including the new Dark Slick Shores, and that uh, rounds out our mana here. So, yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw, and seems keepable. Turn 1 Fugue, turn 2 Drown, turn 3 Celestas, and 2 Cutdown. Facing a black green deck, and our opponent's gonna do the same here. So if they don't take Fugue, could be a sign that we should wait until turn 3, but our opponent does take the discard spell. So they know what we're working with. Bushwhack points towards an Obliterator fight deck. And yeah, Drown's not quite good enough to kill Obliterator, but in combination with Cutdown, we can get there. So turn 3, either Celestus or Trespasser. And a Flash Gorger for now. Okay, so I could drown. It's not the most mana efficient play. 
think we'll play the Trespasser for now, and then next turn I can Bankbuster plus Drown, which will also put a counter on the Bankbuster. Okay, opponent goes for the Fight Spell. Still has to discard. So that's a fine trade. And a backup trespasser. And we'll stick to the plan. Bangbuster into drown. Opponent's got a forest and their mana, so potentially unable to cast an obliterator. And then now Vrask calls an answer to the Obliterator. So I can play Celeste's draw with Bankbuster to make sure we can cast a Vraska. And we haven't played land yet, so I'll draw now. In a matchup where the opponent's playing discard spells, we may want to wait to draw in some circumstances. And yeah, there's the Obliterator. So Vraska at full loyalty can uh, turn the Obliterator into a treasure. That seems fine. And Vraska's great too, alongside Bankbuster, drawing us extra cards. Oh wow, Tyranax Rex out of nowhere. To finish off Vraska. Well, better draw Liliana now to answer the Tyranax. Can play Shredder, Trespasser, and then still draw. Getting to connive in the process to discard cut down. Gixus commands. Liliana would all be great answers. And then I could draw now with the Bankbuster. Finding a cut down. Okay, can uh, hang on to some of our cards to discard to Celestis and Ledger Shredder. Shake down heavy, so I guess this is a fine trigging deck. And an edict. Okay, get to connive at least. And there's our Liliana, although now there's a shake down heavy in play as well. So this card to cut down to the connive, and then get rid of the trespasser. Could also sacrifice Bankbuster after accruing it. But I think I still prefer Bankbuster. Okay, so we're at 8. So Liliana just deals with Shakedown Heavy. So probably draw with Bangbuster, hope to find a different answer. That works. So can even play Liliana first to proliferate a loyalty. But kill the Shakedown. Discard hybrids, and then we can even return the hybrid as we proliferate. So, this was an excellent turn. Minus two Liliana. Tyranax down. And I think we are safe to attack, even if they draw another Tyranax, they wouldn't be able to cast it. So, that turn really showcased all our synergies. The rest sees a land and hybrid. Can draw with Bankbuster, and then I'm okay discarding a land at this point. I'm tired of your and cast a hybrid. Could also activate Celestus, switch it to nighttime. Another Whisper. Now I could discard hybrids, Whisper my own Shredder just to connive, and get hybrid back. Sure, may as well attack first. Might be getting a little too cute. But uh, it also adds loyalty to our Liliana. And then cast hybrids. 
Or I could Whisper again, discarding hybrids, adding more loyalty to Liliana. Now we get to connive. Get our hybrid back. And then I'll play the Shipwreck Marsh. Can discard hybrid to the Celestus. Finding a backup Liliana. And we're not too far from an ultimate. Do we discard hybrid or Liliana? I'll discard hybrid still. Find another one. Can draw with Bankbuster. How close are we to killing the opponent if I crew Bankbuster? I'm hitting for potentially 13 damage. So we're getting close. Um, sure. Can Shredder play hybrids. And then we have enough on defense so we don't die to another top deck Tyranax. And we'll discard Liliana to the Knife. Let's see. I guess we want to discard a land to the fresh Shredder and a non-land to the one that can attack. And then play Blast Zone plus Liliana, which next turn can minus 6. And we're fine to crew, attack for 13. And even with another top deck Tyranax, we would still be at 4 or 8 poison total. And then next turn we can cross the finish line with our Liliana. End of turn we would take a Blast Zone, which also works very well with Proliferate. And then Liliana minus 6 could remove half of the opponent's lands. They are holding a card in hand, so I guess they could still have some interaction. Just to be on the safe side. Or we'll ultimate. And split these up. Something like this. I guess we would probably put the four basics in one pile and the dual lands in another. Not that it matters. Alright, don't get to see a Liliana ultimate every day. And uh, yeah, move to attackers. That should do it. Gix's command could have also given a lifelink to one of our creatures. Sweet, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw and our hand is keepable. Got a bit of early interaction, and then Command can catch us back up, up against a Poison deck. Alright, so we will have access to a Shredder next turn. I maybe actually wait on Cutdown so we can turn 2 Shredder, turn 3 Celestus plus Cutdown lets us connive. And then Slaughter Singer will be a good target. Another Cutdown's an interesting twist. I think we stick to the plan. Worst case scenario, opponent has a sentry to exile Shredder. But then we can still get it back. Alright, another singer. Means they can actually connect with both creatures. Although now they let us connive. So, discard Whisper. So now we can actually hold off one of their creatures. So they should have waited until second main phase to play out the second chorus. So, play Celestus, and then I'll just cut down now to play around Tyvor Stand. And, yeah, I would like to discard a non-land card. Could get rid of another cut down since Gix Command will still clear the board next turn. And then now we can hopefully hold off an attack. Contaminator, so yeah, Command can let them sacrifice their largest creature and get rid of uh, creatures with power 2 or less. So that should be pretty effective. Opponent will get some 1-1 tokens, so we'll hang back. And our opponent explodes, awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. And our hand seems fine. Hybrid into either Trespasser or Liliana. Put into red-green aggro. So happy to trade for Adaptive all day. 
Beast Caller. Alright, opponent offers. Happy to accept. And then we'll take this opportunity to Liliana Minus. Next turn, either Trespasser or Celestis into Hybrid. Alright, the Trampling Jewel Thief is kind of annoying. So I might prefer Trespasser. And then Liliana Pluses. Potentially discarding a land, or can get rid of the hybrid anyway. Hoping to proliferate soon. I'm assuming they'll be able to grow the adaptive. Although they send both at Liliana, we just eat the adaptive. Fine. I know when I'm not and then Celestus also helps us transform Trespasser eventually. Can keep a land in hand to discard. Okay, the filer is a problem. Don't have many clean solutions to it. So just gotta hope they don't draw any green permanents for a few turns. Okay, that's our best possible answer. So, command. And then, could get back double hybrids. Which may be better than putting two plus one counters on Trespasser, but both are valid. So, sacrifice the filer. I think I'm still going for the plus one counters. And then I don't want to attack, don't want to trade for a single Jewel Thief. We'll find a way to proliferate eventually. Cut down doesn't quite cut it. And a discard spell also not very helpful. So if I want to activate Celestus, I might want to consider attacking first. But again, I don't really want to trade for double Jewel Thief. So maybe we just activate and chill. Opponent will be able to cast whatever they draw. Pass, transform back to Knight. And a Blast Zone could actually come in handy. Poseju blows up Celestis. Fair enough. And now we could consider attacking. If they double block, we can bounce one of them. Still not an amazing play. But it does get the ball rolling. Can exile multiple creatures. And as soon as we get to proliferate, we can uh, get back double hybrid to close out the game. Points at 11, so we are winning the race. Augur of Autumn, now that we can cut down, luckily. As soon as we get the chance. Seems like there's a creature on top, since it didn't play a land right away. And then we can take a Blast soon. Attack. Could see a double block now. Okay, let's see what they top decked. Another Defiler could be bad, and yeah, there it is. So they can actually still play Jewel Thief, add counters. Which will now beat out our 6-6. Six, six. Alright. Can hope to answer Defiler with Blast soon. It's gonna take us a few turns. As it switches back to daytime. So, yeah, pass it back. Celestis would have been doing a lot of work in the meantime. So Buseju was effective. A Loam Speaker. Still lets us block Jewel Thief at least, so that's the important part. 
and our opponent hangs back. So one more counter will do. And a drown at long last. So Sag Blast Zone. Drown kills Jewel Thief, gets back double hybrids and attack, forcing a chum block. Awesome, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Hand seems fine. Plenty of removal for the various aggro decks in the format. And then Celestus can potentially set up an early Vraska as well. well. Let's see what we're up against. Looks like red aggro. Yeah, I'll use the Whisper for now. Even though there's nothing to proliferate. And then hope to pick up a land next turn. Adaptive, we could cut down. Sure. There's an argument for holding Drown, since then I could have drowned in case we didn't pick up a land, and then we still have access to Celestis and to cut down on the following turn. But this also worked out. Drown Miglaws. Kodama. At least they don't control a modified creature, but I'm still down to go Celestis into Drown. Okay, board is clear. Ready to cast our Planeswalker here, although, who all will be one, that's a problem. Can't remove that with our Planeswalker. Hopefully not too many more counters in our future. Gala Greeters into Sticky Fingers, okay, at least no plus one counter. And then now we have a couple of options. Could bounce the Gala Greeters as well. Soaring City also bounces enchantments actually, so that's a way of delaying all will be one. I think we still just draw with Vraska. Okay. And then can play a Shredder. And then do we want to bounce the Gala Greeters? Which will also make the Sticky Fingers fall off. Maybe wait to see if they cast a creature first. So they may not be able to replay Gala Greeters. Could also bounce the Sticky Fingers itself and ambush the Gala Greeters. Kind of like that as well. And our opponent has seen enough, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and seems keepable. Up against red aggro. Well, we don't have any of our cheap removal spells, so hoping to find one of them. Okay, Whisper's not bad, although it doesn't kill Swiss Spear. Crescendo. Not a card you usually see, but not bad here. Finds Felden. And Liliana's next. So could wait on Shredder until I can play it and Whisper in the same turn. All their opponents are locked into playing Felden. So unless they have a one mana instant here, can maybe block with a Shredder. And then next turn Celestus plus Whisper is an option. A Liliana minus two. That opponent's just gonna Lightning Strike. At least Felden goes to waste. And then just deal with the Swiss Spear here. Even the Blast Zone could also be an answer to multiple one drops. Okay, Warfare. It's gonna juice up their future burn spells. But now Liliana can go to town. I think I should Fugue first. Maybe go Celestus into Fugue. Get that going and then discard a Whisper. This way for opponents, let's say he's holding one spell and two lands. I can discard the spell with Fugue and then discard the land with Liliana. Okay, so two pump spells and Lightning Strike. And a Whisper can go. Can also tick up our Blast Zone to eventually deal with Warfare. Command could give lifelink. 
And yeah, opponent has seen enough. Liliana can empty out their hands, take up towards an ultimate as well, while Bangbuster is eventually gonna find more action. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, and seems fine. Got some early creatures, Drown as removal, as well as Liliana. And now we could Whisper to kill Adaptive too. Yeah, let's just take it out. Turn to hybrid. Don't really mind if it dies. It can be a play with fire. Plenty of ways to get it back. Okay, Foundry could be a good way to pressure our Planeswalker. So I prefer playing a Trespasser first. Exile Adaptive. Is this a Lightning Strike end of turn? Rending Flame? Okay, opponent still has to discard. So, we'll see here. Partners doesn't get to put a counter anywhere. And Liliana can take care of it. Could also drown, get back hybrid, play hybrids. Since Liliana would die to the foundry, so it's maybe better to set up our defenses first. Yeah, don't mind that. And there's bigger creatures we maybe have to take out with Liliana. Okay, happy to trade here. And now we could Shredder into hybrids, although I actively want to discard the hybrids, so maybe just Liliana plus discarding hybrids. And then we'll eventually be able to get it back. And our opponent has seen enough, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and seems fine. Could use maybe a one drop to enable Knife. Opponent red green as we find another Shredder. Gold Hound into an Iron Apprentice, so it's more of an artifact deck here. Okay, can uh, still play Shredder. We'll maybe hide the Blast Zone, which can also blow up all the 1-1s. One if we draw 1-drop, we can connive by going Celestis into 1-drop. That makes sense, Myria. Two cheap artifacts that can both tap for mana here. So we'll need to find an answer to Myria as soon as possible. At least we get to connive now. And probably won't have time for both bank busters. And then... Once we get a bit more mana, we could also look into Blast soon. Looks like a Voltage Surge. Okay. At least they had to sacrifice a lot of stuff to make that happen. And now... Maybe go for Celestis, and then next turn we can Shredder into Bankbuster. More one mana artifacts to go with Myria, which can start exiling the top card as well. Mutt, alright. Points got an interesting deck on their hands. White mana in there too. So we'll stick to the plan, Shredder into Bankbuster. And then probably end up discarding an island. Still gonna keep the Blast Zone as a surprise. A Metal Worker can fix their mana. Turn green into white, potentially. I see Jetmir, that's their big finish. And yeah, it's pretty good here. Dread Fugue. May as well discard it. Bones empty handed. That's a lot of damage coming across. Do we want to trade for an Iron Apprentice? Probably not when we have a Blast Zone in hand. Although, Bones got a lot of two drops as well, so Blast Zone only kills two creatures here. So we might need to find something else. 
Yeah, we'll take nine. Well, I was about to say Gix's Command might be one of our better draws. So, opponent sacrifices creature with the highest power, which is Jetmir. And then, sadly, it resolves destroy each creature with power two or less first, which right now is only our Ledger Shredder. So instead we can go for the life gain on Ledger Shredder. Since there's no creatures for me to return besides another Shredder. And then we'll go with a life gain and plus one counters. And now do we attack for four or just stay back? Yeah, I'll hang back. And then still gonna keep the uh, blast in a surprise. Okay. Can't beat another Jetmir here. Miria goes digging, finds a land. And another land. Yeah, if only Gix's command resolved in the opposite order. Could have taken out Jetmir and all their cheap creatures. Cut down does not answer Miria. Although Whisper can shrink it down enough, so that works. Okay. Was not going to proliferate on Blast Zone anyway, so can still keep it in hand. So Bankbuster can draw. Find another Whisper. Okay. Time to reveal Blast Zone. And then not really in a position to attack. Need to find another blocker first. A Right of Harmony. Would have been great alongside Miria and a lot of mana. Just an automaton. Okay. Whisper can take care of it. And our opponent goes all out. So we want to block a non-one drop creature, which I guess would be Metal Worker or Mutt. Mutt, of course, it can unearth. I think that's still okay. Saves me a bit of damage. And then I could whisper now, since we can pay for the uh, ward, or we can wait to connive, since we seem to have enough mana. Alright, so we'll draw first. Cut down also helps. So whisper, kill automaton, pay the ward. And then I'm not going to proliferate onto Blast Zone. And then now do I attack? Still have to be a bit mindful of the Mutt attacking us. So I'll chill, but we can cut down now in order to connive. And then Apprentice could move its counters, so maybe just kill the Mana Worker. Yeah, probably should have uh, cast the cut down first in order to discard Hybrid and get it back with a proliferate. That's fine, we'll find another proliferate soon. And then still gonna hang back. And then I've got two one drops in play now that die to blast soon. Prowler can exile my hybrid here. Although they might want to exile an artifact to discount those. Okay, let's draw once again. And a Vraska. Okay, Vraska should be quite effective here. Wondering whether I want to wait on Vraska turn and just set a Blast Zone. So we're not gonna end up dying to an all-out attack here since I also lose one life. So we'll just chill. Let us switch to Knights, which also gains me a life. And then we can activate Blast Zone end of turn. And Drown is a way to get back our hybrid. Okay, don't hate my spot. Right, flashed back. Opponent can cast one mana artifacts for free here. 
thanks to the Prowler, but they're all gonna die to Blast Zone anyway. Okay, Automaton. That works. Gets a discount from being an artifact and a creature, so that's quite synergistic with Prowler. Opponent is kind of going off here. And a Mutt. Always fun to see cool synergies that you haven't seen before. Okay, Ponan does get to move a couple counters. So Automaton does not die to drown. Can maybe get let go of another Shredder, or we can play Shredder into Drown and see where that gets us. And then we'll still be able to get back a hybrid as well. Although Vraxcas quite tempting here. Yeah, let's get rid of Shredder. So if I play Vraska for the full price, I wouldn't be able to Drown alongside it. So it's either 5 mana Vraska Drown, or just Drown Replay Hybrid, and maybe you draw with a Bangbuster as well. And yeah, can draw with a Bangbuster. Find another Hybrid. Knife. Discarding Hybrid. And can attack for 9 damage. Chumping with Hybrid on the way back. Although if they unearth the Mutt, that could be bad. So once again, let's play it safe. And then Gix's Command can give lifelink to the Shredder. Happy to trade. Take our turn. And another Whisper. It's an embarrassment of riches here, but uh, should probably start with Command. Counters on lifelink, make them sack their biggest creature. And then now we can certainly attack. And then we still have double Vraska to completely take over, because they somehow answered the Shredder. So we'll pass. Augur Phantom's a good one. Although once we Whisper and put a counter on Shredder, we'll be attacking for 12. So sadly we won't get to see Vraska in action. But yeah, it was still a close game. Gix's commands definitely saved us on a few occasions. Alright, so we got to see our blue-black birds and bats deck in action, and the synergy between Lancer Shredder and Hybrid was great every time we played it, so that seems like a package we can easily include in future decks going forward, as long as we have a few ways to proliferate. For now, I don't think the deck is quite competitive enough for the ranked ladder, while it's designed to beat up on some of the creature decks in the format, like Monorad, probably stands a chance against Blue-White as well. As soon as you face more controlling strategies, it's gonna fall apart, as you'll have a lot of dead removal spells in hand that you cannot always discard, since as soon as they kill a Ledger Shredder, you also lose that draw and discard engine. So yeah, that's gonna do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.